Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Super Sega World 38, and today we're going on into Bowser's Castle. Bowser Castle. <laughs> Bowser's the name of the castle. It's the Bow. Ooh, Dolphin Town. Is that solid? Is that brick there is solid. Doesn't look like it, but it is very solid. So, like, I don't really know what to expect. Like, if it's going to be, like, the typical door formation, or if it's going to be a more straightforward level. Considering this is starting out like a level level, uh, it might be more of a level. I don't know. I'm starting off with a little cheap fire here, and I'm not afraid to exploit that for my convenience. Uh, okay, so you're safe everywhere here. Like, this looks scary, but that's all it is. It's scary looks. Oh, that is a slow, lazy dolphin. If you got the brown fox, now's the time to bring it out. Look at that. Uh, that's right. So, dolphin in the lava moat. That's just like, you know, that's just a, a, a Koopa thing to do. Oh, geez, that's a giant fire. Wow! Well, I rushed forward and I paid the price. Now we're having one of these. Um. Okay, I. Uh, well, I panicked. I didn't have a plan for a giant spiky object directly in the way. Because you only got these, it looks like. Uh, dude, like, hurry up. I. Uh, I, I. I'm not sure what I. I'm not sure what to do. Way to just like have more dolphins. World. Oh shoot. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Eh, eh, oh yeah. And see. Yeah. Like. Ah. There's the mushroom. Okay. All right. There we go. Which is why I I, I let it hit me. Hmm. Okay. Just bad timing there on my end. Bad? No, I don't think it's the timing, I think it's my pre like, it's bad prediction. Bad anticipation. Dude, I'm large. Cause you only fire once. You're like the only one to fire only- They're the only fire- da um. Okay. People are just doing whatever they want now. That's hard for me, the small Mario in the prairie that, that was overrun with magma. See, there if I would have been big, like, it's fine when you're small, but had I been big, I would have gotten hurt. So, I would be in the same situation that I constantly am in. What to do? Or you can just ride the dolphin and, like, not worry about anything. Okay, start to worry about things. <laughs> but, man, I just kind of let things happen this time and it worked out way too well. Don't know how I feel about it. I could see you there. I think there's anything up here. Nope, there's a ceiling. I think it'd be a cool way to hide a thing. Alright, so I see you there. So, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. Alright, do that. Get your attention. That'll let me go past here. Then you do this, get that spike's attention. Yeah, live your life to your best. Do a big jump and get a midpoint. No Yoshi beyond this threshold. We're just outright blocking him this time. Oh, geez, scary music. Okay, we got some pipe organs. We got... Oh, now we got choices, huh? So we got one, and we got two, and we got three, and that is all. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. This can go many ways. Start with one, you know? Let's be rational. Boss pass with the flashing water, huh? All right, hey, look at that guy. So, but, oh shoot, okay, so that fish is having problems, it's gonna get eaten by boss bass. Good. So can I just go underneath him? I sure can. That's that secret trick that you can't do in Mario 3 because of the way that it works. Oh wow, he follows the tide? That's cool. I feel like the good way to do this is to, yeah, like, lead him forward. So that then you can go forward and you can just kind of ignore him. Is this a pipe I can go in? 
no. Whoa there, Charlie. You're being a little too excited here. That's gonna lead to headaches going forward. Alright, go underneath. Skip everything. Yeah, that's right. Just go underneath the world. Alright, if this is a fireball, yeah, I can just fry him up now. My fireballs didn't load in the details. Alright, I'm not afraid of you, boss bass. I'm not afraid of your chips. Corn chips. Corn flavors. Also, you can just kind of ignore everything, though, like there's a thing. Yeah, there you go. Corn Crispy Boss Bassaroni. That's a bunch of words that came out. All right, and then I did that, so what does that mean? Then we got four, we got five, and some would say we got six. I feel like I should do all of them naturally, but you know, let's do one and four. Fourteen. The number that spells five. Oh my gosh, it's a giant mushroom man. Oh my gosh, it's a an hungry, angry plant. Oh my gosh, it's money in the box. Oh my gosh, the, oh, that's a giant spine just falling on my head. Rude, but understandable. What's up, the spitty guy? So now I'm just kind of expecting there to be just enemies that fall on me from nowhere. It's kind of a... It's kind of a bad move, though. What? How did I miss? How did I miss? Oh, uh, That's embarrassing. I just missed completely the block. Well, brings us back here. I guess I'll do two. So I have completed one, so let's give two a shot. And then when I do all three, I'll know which path I want to take. Alright, door number two. What do you got? We're underground. We got Potobo. Okay, okay. So what you're saying is door number two, kind of on the slow side of things. Uh, oh, you're supposed to do the jump here. We got these pink nozzles here, yeah. Fill up your gas tank. Alright, these guys are having fun. Here you get shot at. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Look at that. Poor guy got despawned. He got smushed so hard. You don't like it when that happens to you or your loved ones. I don't know where I'm going. I don't think I'm safe from anything. Alright, just a little awkward hop here, awkward hop there. Get an extra coin. And here we are. It's the end of the world, too. Hey, little sponge platform. So, it's not... It's not very hard at all, but it feels slow because you're waiting after layers, so... Oh shoot, I should have gone gone to Mushroom in the back. I didn't get that at all. I was too impatient to step into this door here. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, I should have ducked. My plan was to spin jump at the last moment, but my last moment was too late, and uh, it was too last. Like, it didn't last. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Oh, jeez. Uh, I made that the most complicated way possible. Glad to be- if so. I misunderstood what's going on with these. Okay, you're supposed to platform across these. Like, you go like, uh, uh, uh. And then you're like, no. Not yet. That guy's there, then you die. Um... Okay. Well, might as well do door three! Uh, after I do door three, I'm gonna put a safe state, not to reload there, but so that, like, when I defeat, like, door four, I can just reload and do five and six. Like, it's just for a after I'm done kind of thing, depending on how things, uh, work out, basically. So this is the smooshy one. I'm thinking, oh, wow, that was bad playing on my end. I just kind of touched it for no reason. I did it. And now I'm waiting again. Uh, layers of fun and all. Oh, what? Uh, uh, no. I'm gonna die if I do that. I gotta wait a little bit. There we go. That's enough waiting. I am done waiting. Hi, Sawblade. How does it feel to be where the sun shines free? Inside this dark and damp dun- I don't know if it's damp. There's fire and lava. I mean, it could be a damp lava. <laughs> I'd feel like, like, sufficiently hot material would, like, destroy the humidity, right? 
but the reality is I do not know how the laws of physics shape shake up in those cases. Is this what you're supposed to do? Okay. I mean, door three, I think, like, there's still a layer three base waiting, but it felt the most dynamic, I would say. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna go power up at door four, uh, at the end. I'm gonna put a save state. I'm not gonna use it until I, like, meet the end, but this is just so I can do, like, leftover doors if there is any to do. With that said, let's keep on working on number four. Here we go. It's the fourth one. He's a guy, he marches along. This is this box. No, this coins, man. If you're really into coins, this is such a weird place. Alright, so yeah, just let him fall, too. That's, that's another powerful move. Just let things happen every day. Then you go here and you're like, what? Exactly. Alright, so here. Uh, uh, there we go. So, yeah, my mistake was I was taking too long. Even I could tell you that. Alright, potato farm. I ain't interested in your potato service. But it's fine, I respect your opinion on things. That was a whole level and everything. This is a bridge. This is the weird part with the ceiling. Ooh, nefarious door number seven. Oh, so or was he? Oh, wait. I guess if you have fire, you can get yourself. No. Okay, I see. Wait, this is very similar to the actual Castle Seven. Was I replaying stuff I already played? I'm confused a little bit. All right. Well, free feather. I'll take it. But yeah, like, I just played this literally yesterday. Like, it is, uh, unchanged. Except you give me a feather, making it easier. Huh. That's certainly a decision that you are allowed to take as a level designer. Yeah, that's... okay. Alright, I mean, it starts at a weird place, so I know it's not, like, wrong warp or something. Oh shoot, I forgot to hold the jump button. That's just flat out what happened. I just omitted to hold the jump button. Whoa! Well, that was badly executed on my end. Alright, now that I'm back, let's give uh, door 5 a try. Yeah, we're in the Ropeland. Uh, Camera's weird, there we go. I just jumped right into that soft for no reason. I did that. Oh boy. That's just money. Doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah, this reminds me of the level I have played in this game. So I think this is kind of like reusing levels. Yeah, I remember this part in particular. Huh. Okay, so we got ourselves a sweet clip show here. But I don't remember like that cave part. Really? Seriously? Alright, let's go through that clip show one more time. We got got in a embarrassing way. You just duck through that, so that's right. This one you wouldn't be able to, but you can move around like that instead. Like, ending with a literal clip show is an idea. Please note my lack of qualifiers. <laughs> it's just such a weird take. Like, even Colam hacks avoid doing that. Or, like, they'll dedicate, like, a level to, like, redoing stuff in the series. But within the, the same game? That's just... Yeah, there we go. I got hit one last time like a big dummy. There was a Blark there waiting in ambush. What a weird something. Alright, and we're back to door 7. <laughs> hey, we're back. Alright, time to die. How did I die last time? Oh yeah, I omitted to hold jump. And 
that part where you run across pits. It's a basic, tragic mistake, but it happens. I mean, hey, not gonna think about everything every time. The, the cave, though, makes this a lot easier. So I guess it balances out the fact that it's the last part of a marathon versus simply being a level <laughs> on its own. <laughs> I guess. One up! Hey! Well, it doesn't matter. Alright, so this is where, yeah, I need to make sure that, yeah, I'm pulling that so that I can run here. Look at that! I made a joke about some point about you can get a feather here if you have a feather, and... Hey, I was holding the spin jump button there to, to float, but okay, well I must have hold the Oh, that's just sad. I'm sorry. That shouldn't have happened. But here we are. Alright, here's this super uncomfortable spot. Here we go, here we go. Now it's just a little door. There could be a power up in one of these now, this time. There isn't. There could have, but there isn't. Dark spot, alright. Um, okay, we got ourselves a lantern, and we got ourselves some robot ducks. Chicken with some teeth, ready to party, and there's Ninji. He's always ready to party. Alright, well, that's how you solve this part. Then you can do that, and it's fearless in San Diego. And it's like, you did it. And it's like, I did. And it's like, yes, then I'm just gonna like, e e inch forward, inch forward. Is it just gonna be Vanilla Bowser? Is that what you think it's gonna be? Maybe. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I fought regular, regular Bowser. I don't know, like, I'm afraid of legitimately getting damaged and dying at some point. It's been a while. Like, it's been a while. Like, I'm kind of on the lookout for, like, shenanigans of some kind, but as if, yeah, it's, hey, it's Bowser. <laughs> Just going, he lives inside that clown's brain, isn't that weird? Uh, so is something gonna ch Whoa. That weird, that, that's, I think it's, uh, SA1 that's making those weird, like, lowing sections? It's really disconcerting. Alright, no, this is normal. Wow, that feels awful. The way it just stops like that. Because, like, I don't know if you've noticed how sometimes there's, like, a pause. Like, between, like, setting, like, oh, but there's no cutscenes in this game. Like, post-world cutscenes, so we didn't experience those. But he kept the Bowser fight, so we had to experience it there. So basically, I say one lets you do some powerful things, but it does, like, add these moments of loadage. I don't know. I don't really get myself. Alright, but yeah, otherwise, it's it's Bowser, man. <laughs> yeah. Bowser plus loading. <laughs> Alright, now that's what I called an improved experience. We get to really see that dead clown eyeball shot. Truly makes the world go round. Then you can have yourself a hot pudding. There's Olive with her squiggly arms. She's got a load getting the mushroom. Hey, it's this phase. You're gonna destroy your propeller, Bowser, you fool, you idiot. Like, that is some fragile technology, man. You gotta take care of it. You can't just bang, bang it up everywhere and hope for the best. Well, I mean, I guess you can, but then, like, that's the result of if you try to do that. You get a mushroom face and then you die. The princess is so shiny! Is it just like the regular end? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, kisses uh, Mario right on the chest. Just really bad aim. Really unfortunate. Uh, no spaces around those commas is stressing me out. Uh, and uh, are going to take a vacation. Alright. Who's Mario's friends that were not named in this little text thing? I don't know. Uh, Toad? Maybe. Is he a friend? Or is he more of a work acquaintance? Or he's just a guy that doesn't wear a shirt that he knows. Whoa! That's probably supposed to happen. 
All right, well, uh, that's the ending. Hey, we're back. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do sick. That's the end. We're swimming now with our friends, the Jellicroads and the Spike Headfish. Uh, my computer fan was going crazy during uh, that part where Reality uh, and his friends uh, were going to take a vacation. So something tells me that was not supposed to happen. There's a hidden whistling guy somewhere. We're making an OC and that activated all the band fish, basically. This place is cramped. Like, there's just stuff everywhere. If you're not interested into stuff, please purchase your camping equipment elsewhere. They're just gonna keep going at me, huh? Alright, but, uh, one of them despawned. I do a little bit of this. Is gonna despawn? Nope. He is gonna get this one. Plants, thank you. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, which one is it? Do I go in the top one? <laughs> I gotta go inside one of these. There we go, I did it! I beat the game. Beat the game. I beat the game. I guess I'm just gonna go here and destroy myself because I beat the game. I can't start select because technically speaking, I never beat it. So, uh, yeah! I hope beating the castle isn't supposed to unlock anything, cause... Things broke down! <laughs> Next time, the world of zero. <laughs> but man... Alright... I don't know how to finish this!